Growing up in my house, I was always encouraged to fix things and um, actually make things. So I was probably destined to become a product designer. Bees, although they're so small, they play such a huge role in nature. My dad keeps bees and my grandfather kept bees before him and I've always been surrounded by bees, so I've always had a love for them. With the commercialization of beekeeping, people are importing other strains of bees. They are breeding with the Irish black bee and these strains are not able to survive in the Irish weather as well as the black bee. Because of this, it's leading to population decline of honeybees in Ireland. Through talking to people and through my research, I was shocked to find out that so many people, both young and old, didn't know anything about biodiversity. So it was important to me to create something that wasn't just going to create more waste, it was actually going to get people thinking. I believe that the future of sustainable design is looking at materials, using materials that are naturally occurring or using waste products to make something that would help nature and at the end of life go back to nature and not create more waste. The problem that the eco nook is solving, I suppose at the heart of it, it's repopulating the Irish black bee. It's made from mycelium, which is the root of mushroom, and it uses waste products from agriculture. It's to replace the polystyrene hives that are commercialised now. The hive also comes with a calendar that is about educating people about biodiversity. It gets people out into their gardens and actually interacting with the natural world around them. The actual calendar itself shows a diagram of what's happening inside the hive every month and it also gives you tips on how to make your garden more biodiverse. It just gets people more educated about, you know, everything that's going on around them that they wouldn't normally notice. I submitted to the James Dyson Award because I know James Dyson's work and I think he's an amazing designer. As designers, I think we have the power to make big changes and small changes, but also make changes in people's mindsets with what we design and how we design it. And that's what motivates me as a designer.